Hello, and welcome to GeoTruth. Today we're going to look at the moon on October 4th, 2023. On October 4th, 2023, the moon continues in its waning gibbous phase. On October 4th, 2023, at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, around time 2343, which is 10.59 p.m., pictures and videos of the moon were taken using a Nikon P1000 camera. We will observe the pictures taken with the Nikon P1000 camera and compare them with mainstream science's pictures and graphics of the moon. Using the astronomical data from the United States Naval Observatory altitude and azimuth of the sun and moon during one day, we will first locate the actual sun and moon's locations on the Earth when the Nikon P1000 pictures were taken. We will locate the moon's coordinates first. The first row on the table shows the moon's altitude is 90 degrees or directly above at plus 26.09 latitude and plus 12.75 longitude. We will use these coordinates to locate the moon on the circular level plane Gleason's map. On October 4th, the moon is 74% illuminated. The first row in the table shows the sun's altitude is 90 degrees or directly above at minus 4.22 latitude and plus 121.46 longitude. We will use these coordinates to locate the sun on the circular level plane Gleason's map. The moon is shown as a white circle and is located at plus 26.09 latitude and plus 12.75 longitude on the circular level plane Gleason's map. The sun is shown as a yellow circle and is located at minus 4.22 latitude and plus 121.46 longitude on the circular level plane Gleason's map. Let's compare the locations of the sun and moon from September 29th to October 4th. Between September 29th and October 4th, the sun is getting closer to the moon. This is a picture or graphic of the moon according to mainstream science, which continues to show loss of light and illumination of the moon. However, the graphic shows mass where the moon has no light, which we never see on the pictures or videos taken with the Nikon P1000 camera. Next, we'll take a look at the pictures and video from the Nikon P1000 camera. These pictures and videos of the moon were taken at 0918 or 918 in the morning on October 4th. We observe all of the unlit area of the moon is invisible and we see nothing but blue sky where the light was. In the daytime, we see the same phenomena where light no longer exists, there is no moon mass, and just blue sky. We also continue to see areas where there are specks or pieces of light which are not attached to the edge of the moon.
This video shows the sun is getting closer and closer to the moon. From September 29th to October 4th, we have seen the moon go from 100% illumination to 74% illumination, which means the moon has lost 26% of its full light capability. In observing the pictures and videos from the Nikon P1000 camera, we have actually seen that 26% of the moon has actually disappeared with no mass. We continue to see where light no longer exists, there is darkness and no mass. Our observations are that between September 29th and October 4th, the sun is getting closer to the moon. The mainstream science picture slash graphic shows more loss of light and illumination along the edges of the moon. However, the unlit part of the moon is still shown as mass, which we do not see in the Nikon P1000 pictures and videos. The Nikon P1000 camera pictures and videos show the moon losing more light and illumination over time. The area where the moon is losing light is void of light and mass. Next time we will look at the moon's lunar cycle on October 5th, 2023. See you next time.